to um, so Nico Rodriguez, the founder of MetaVision Labs. Hello, Nico. Good morning. How are you doing today? Hey, Zach. Happy to be here. Uh, thanks for having me, everyone. Um, doing great. Thank you. And I also saw that you were engaging with loads of people in the YouTube chat as well. So huge thanks for doing that. I really appreciate it. Um, you have a very interesting story, right? So can we like roll back? And I'm going to ask you, first of all, you are exactly how old right now? I'm 20. You're 20, right? So at what age um, so did you like really get involved in crypto and blockchain and everything and meta? Yeah, well, you know what? I originally started trading and, and buying crypto, honestly, at like 14, 13. Really, I was uh, buying crypto. I didn't really know kind of like the power of smart contracts, honestly, till uh, 20, uh, 2019, 2020. Fantastic. And um, how is it you got involved with NFTs? Yeah, so what happened was it's a really interesting story. So what happened was when, when all the COVID started, right, I, I had been living without my phone for about a year. I was out in, uh, in Victoria, BC, in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, I started thinking a lot about, like, uh, about alchemy, right, and how we can actually turn code into gold, right? And I think that's something that a lot of people think about here, right? You know, the fact that you can earn from just writing something on your computer and then, you know, potentially buy gold is like this, like, uh, almost like ancient concept, right? So I started doing uh, like a lot of crypto trading bots, right? So I was into uh, very into crypto trading bots. And, you know, in October of that year, I joined the, uh, the firm Longtail Financial. And through that, uh, I, uh, I, met, uh, I met Nick Mudge, who is the creator of Avagachi and the creator of the ERC-998. Uh, so, you know, we got love to the OGs here. I know uh, uh, the Mintable, uh, Mintable uh co-founder was here and you know he is a legend for sure those standards are very applicable so uh through that you know just knowing mudge and the and the brilliant mind that he is i was like okay this is this is definitely the future soon after i joined uh, boson protocol and you know they're doing a lot of stuff with nfts really got to see like whoa this is like something we can like mix and interoperate you guys should check out the erc 1155 erc 721 contract they've made they actually mix those two which is still uh, incredible it's on their github so uh, through that, you know, I, I got more and more into it, did some raises and, you know, just started to understand that, whoa, these are interfaces, right? Every NFT is an interface, uh, you know, an ERC-1155 interface, ERC-721 interface, the actual code you fill in, that's that's all up to you, right? So the, the things that we can do with this are far beyond art, right? 100%. And can you tell everyone, as it relates to MetaVision Labs and Cafe Cosmos, um, what's a typical day for you? Yeah, so typical day, you know, I'll hit up a few meetings uh, right here from home and then I'll start my uh, my long, it's almost like a two hour commute to the office in the middle of downtown Toronto. Uh, there, you know, uh, all the boys are coding, right? We've got, uh, we've, you know, it's really interesting. You have to kind of mix uh, the different teams. You've got Unity developers, you've got artists, you've got project managers, uh, and then importantly, you have Solidity developers as well. So you kind of have to have this good culture to have this glue to bring this all together and, and flow and, you know, let ideas uh, be open, right? And let uh, let everyone kind of chat uh, with uh, with kindness, right? That's, that's fantastic. I mean, I'm still so shocked that you're 20 years old and you're the CEO of what's going to be one of like the biggest nft related businesses so like good on you man like you're on to something incredible right now um can you tell me right in your own opinion what is the metaverse to you cheers well yeah thank you zach and so the metaverse to me you know this is an interesting thing and i feel like uh well, what's interesting is that we have been on linkedin you know uh, we have been like trying to like uh define the metaverse for the last year Right. Uh, everyone's been saying the metaverse includes anything from Wikipedia to Uber Eats. You know what I mean? So it's almost like this like new word for the web. But now Facebook comes in and they, uh, you know, they, they try to rebrand Oculus as the metaverse. And it's a very confusing spot. But what I think it all boils down to is this in DeFi uh, in on chain. We have now from Cometh. Right. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of Cometh. It's a game. We can bring an item, a ship from Cometh into Decentraland, or we can bring a ship from Cometh into the sandbox, right? This interoperability of DeFi is game changing. And anybody here, like if you're trying to get into NFTs, if you're trying to, you know, uh, milk the market, this is it, right? This is it right here. 
you can now be completely interoperable. You can use liquidity tokens to form and bond into one NFT, right? So this is the metaverse, the, this uh, uh, complete, like impossible to stop interoperability of items that just destroys what has been going on in Web 2 of reservation and being enclosed and, and all that, right? So, you know, and now we even have cross-chain liquidity, which is being used by the Zero X protocol, right? So all these things coming together, like this is the future, right? This is what's going to happen uh, next. Uh, interoperability is the most important part of, of the metaverse. And anybody that doesn't offer that, aka Facebook or Microsoft or whatever, you know, these guys aren't going to be playing nice with each other. They're, they're not going to win, right? Developers are now in the position of power. And yeah. it's now our uh, task to, to work with each other instead of work against each other. That's fantastic. Dude, you are so passionate and I really wish we had more time, right, to go through this. But that's been fantastic. And I'm sure I can see from the comments on the YouTube, like people are really enjoying what you have to talk about. So if anybody would like to get in contact with this intelligent young man, go to the description and click on the links under Nico's name. Um, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Zach. Cheers.